Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and I am at the gallery today for the Zodiac series. This reading is for Capricorn, whose major related arcana card is the Devil. And this is the artist card here to represent you as the open vessel ready to receive whatever source can draw from the well of creativity. So Capricorn, this is a new spread. It's one of mine. It's called Awakening Essential Energy. This first row here with the archetype cards, this is where would I find this essential energy at this time? The second row with the creativity oracle is how best should I nudge this energy awake? And the third row with the soul's journey lesson cards, this is what about this energy needs to be explored in depth? And then finally, we will have how else will source guide me to stay in my creative power through this awakening? So let's start with the archetype cards and see what we have here. The damsel. The light attributes of this is understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself. Well, that's where we want to go. And the shadow attributes waiting for a night to provide for you seduction by romantic illusions. Yeah, sometimes that's a very tricky road to take or to be on, I should say, because people who are really sweet and generous in nature have a way of setting their own needs aside in order to take care of other people. And there can be expectations around that that you'd want to be taken care of in the same way. However, looking for a knight, being a damsel in distress, and that can be of a masculine or a feminine energy. Uh, I think we all, all kind people, have that tendency to um, yeah, look for that reciprocation of taking care of someone. It doesn't always happen that way if you happen to be in a relationship with someone who takes and doesn't give as much. And that could be in a business sense or romantic sense or any other way. Really, really do need to take care of yourself and be able to do that in a, in a good fashion. So let's get some direction with the cards of truth. These are our directional cards and the Lenormand cards are going to give us a little bit of clarity around that, or hopefully a lot of clarity. <laughs> Let's see. Four of Diamonds. This is a very good card to get here. Basically because it would suggest that your energy, which is what we're looking for here, um, where to find it is in your stability. So very stable. The fours are one of the most stable cards in the deck and very solid. This is about your skills, your talents, your finances, what you hold value in, in every aspect and situation. So the diamonds are and the fours are mercury energy because it's on the fourth day of the week and that's mercury fourth planet from the earth and it's also the high priestess so as you know she's the one that gives or chooses the um gift if you will of the where to de where to deliver the gift of the magician in the tarot so very very nice card for you to get in this position i'd say that you are very clear about 
yourself and are very healthy in your understanding of uh, how to be inspired through your romances. <laughs> so let's see what kind of clarity we can get on that. Yeah, it's in reverse. It's the clouds, which puts the clear side next to you. And so very clear about your needs and how to go about attaining them without being the knight to provide someone else, uh, giving too much, if you will, or being seduced by that. But in other words, um, yeah, just knowing your own stability and how to go about being that connection for yourself and for others, that value and stability, the security, if you will, of uh, an earthly nature because the diamond suit is off the earth. So great opportunity here for you. This is a real intuitive psychic connection with the divine. So you are in touch, lovely. Nice place to be looking for energy to move to the top of things. So needed to be reminded of that perhaps? I'm not sure, but let's move on to find out how to nudge this energy awake. So this is time. It's the time card. And on this side is the picture, the creativity oracle. And it says, time can be seen to be both linear and spiral. Circle back to explore concepts from the past and create the future. So it's a revisiting, interesting, very cool card. Time. Okay. So it's going to take a little time or a little exploration about the concepts from a past something and use that to create a future something. Hmm. All right. So we have the Ten of Spades. This is in reverse. So a bit of a hard row here. This is the card that is basically walking through hell with a smile. So not an easy card to get here. It's about reward for effort. So you may be feeling a little stuck, um, not knowing which way to go, that it looks like a, a heavy, a heavy unearthing, if you will. And hmm not knowing how you're going to get there from here. Or it could be that you are just being told that now is not the time, that you need something else to, to come to light before it is the best timing to take action on this. So let's look for a little clarity here. All right, so we have the stork, which is again, this is in reverse, but it's also about timing. So something's not quite ready, not quite ready to hatch, hmm, or emerge from the cocoon, or come out of the oven, or whatever metaphor you can think of. So, okay, time to be seen, time can be seen to be both linear and spiral. So then we're asking to circle back to explore concepts from the past so that you can create the future. So you're being asked to revisit the stability that you have at this time around your skills and talents, that something there needs to shift something that had been maybe set on the shelf because the spades are, are uh, remedies and cures and the tens are, as I said, all about that reward for effort. 
So you haven't, because it's upside down, there's still a need for more effort in unearthing diamond suit, this information, this concept, this thing you need to explore a little deeper. Because it's also the ecliptic card, the tens are. This is life purpose energy. And it's about time to act with determination when it's in the upright position. So it's not quite time to do it. All right, so how do we get there? What do we need to nudge this energy into it being time? Or maybe you can help us out with that timing. Let's take this next row and see what about this energy needs to be explored in depth. All right, so we got the humor card. Interesting. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Well, that does speak directly to this Ten of Spades being such a hard card. So it was something that you've set on the shelf that looked to be overwhelming to open up like Pandora's box at a future time. And before you can open that up again, this very heavy thing that you could draw a tremendous amount of energy through, if you could um, find that stability, that inspiration, that healthy understanding of yourself, that solid, grounded, Four of Diamonds up here is really great. I mean, it's such a beautiful place to be opening up that box from to take a second look at whatever the hardship was that you didn't feel like you had the time to process it or just didn't want to have to deal with it to find some humor around whatever this hardship is. And it could literally be about having time. Hmm. And just looking at time differently and how to see it in a spiral rather than lineal, linear. Hmm. Okay. So humor. That's interesting too, isn't it? All right, so let's get some clarity or direction. This is a six of spades, which is excellent. This is the healthiest card in the deck. So a little humor. So maybe it's time to find the humor, you know, in the situation, the absurdity, that thing that you can laugh about. And we have the cavalier which is a really lovely card to get here. It says, heed well good news from the Cavalier. Impassioned views promise good cheer. Sadness that hides, veiled in the day, once, die, once disguised, soon flies away. So it's going to open up for you. It is time. It's the humor. It's finding the humor in whatever situation, this really difficult situation that you've set aside. Hmm. All right. That has to do with timing, I guess. So, and humor. And to not take it quite so seriously. Perhaps you've really dug deep into this stability to the point where it's actually holding you back and you're thinking that you're th seeing things very clearly and know your stability because this damsel card is a mirror for yourself. 
maybe you've just gotten so steady in your stability of yourself that you feel like you don't need to look for a romantic partner or to have someone that you put trust in that you feel perhaps um, it's just going to take advantage of that because you're, you're so healthy now and you are so in your own. Hmm. And maybe that has something to do with the, the Ten of Spades here, especially it being upside down and you know, in reverse suggests that it's an easier path to walk at this time. And once that you can find the humor in whatever situation you got yourself out of and got strong and healthy around, beautiful, congratulations. Um, yeah, kudos for you, because that is not an easy thing to do. And now it just needs time in order to find that humor, and you will get to that incredibly healthy top of your game in every way with this six of spades just absolutely beautiful and by the way it is the lover's card you know so and that lover's card is just making choices the best choices for yourself and which is great right because this is the magician card as well and as I had said earlier, the High Priestess. So, yeah, they're all connected here. Very, very nice. Also, um, yeah, it is one of the nicest cards to get in the deck. It is a state of being that is at its peak for clarity and understanding of the spiritual connection. So you're on the right track you're doing okay it's if you need that energy that you could bump your your skills with um, you'll find the time for that and when you do use the humor right the humor is what would be the ticket for you to take that open that box with and it says, again, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. That's all you need right there because, yeah. All right, so let's find out how else will Source guide me to stay in my creative power through this awakening. So we have here Pema Chodron's Tonglen cards, and this is number 28. It is abandon any hope of fruition. And the commentary on that is the key instruction is to stay in the present. Don't get caught up in hopes of what you'll achieve and how good your situation will be someday in the future. Mm, definitely has got a time thing here. What you do right now is what matters. So it's basically suggesting to stay with the flow, that you are doing all right, right where you are. <laughs> Isn't that a lovely, lovely, beautiful message to get, Capricorn? Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. You don't need to look to the future. That's why the timing here is in limbo, if you will. And when you're ready, just do it with humor. Very, very nice. All right, so this is the Wish Craft card. Let me show you that. Very cute. And it says, the magic circle. Magic starts with me. That is so apt for you. And this is the Chinese fortune telling sticks. Oh, not, not the best message here. This uh, Chin Tung, it is beware of treason from a friend. Well, I would say you probably are very aware 
<laughs> yeah, copy your game there. So, okay, thank you, thank you. So there you go, well, okay, you are off to the races. I hope this resonates and just really tells you how wonderful your groundedness is and where you've gotten yourself, really beautiful. All right, Capricorn, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and I will see you next month for the next reading. Till then, thank you and happy creating.